Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. All right, we'll talk some other time. Bye. Oh. Yes, darling. You have been on this call. Who are you talking to? Oh, I was actually talking to Pastor Ken. He calls me often and each time he calls, he's always asking after you. I think he likes you. Ah, uh, Mom, please, as a Christian sister, can you stop having other ideas? As a Christian sister and a Christian brother, something could happen between both of you. Mom, and what? Nothing can ever happen between Pastor Ken and I. Like, never happen, nothing. Don't you ever say never. Or one of those things you people always say like, um, what is it again? It's not my time. All right? Because you never know. God works in mysterious ways. Tomorrow he might be your type. Oh, Mom, please, I think I am done having this conversation. Can you tell me about work now? I am not talking about work. I want to talk about you and your relationship. I mean, which man is in your life and the kind of man you like. Sorry to disappoint you, Mom. I don't believe that. I mean, how can a beauty... Do you ever look at yourself in the mirror? How beautiful you are and you're telling me you don't have a love life? No man ever looks at you? Ah, Mom, believe me, I don't. I don't have a love life. You know if I do, you'll be the first to know. For a full-grown woman who knows how to take her decisions, and you are doing quite well. You see, I took time off work to come here for the engagement party, and it's all over. <laughs> come on, Ingo. Yes, I know. Can you just stop? <clears throat> um, Mom, how long have you been standing here for? Oh, well, uh, who were you talking to on the phone? I mean, the person was making you smile like a little girl in love. Uh, Mom, it's a... Uh, it's... Uh, it's a friend, yes, um, a friend from school. No one special. <laughs> You were talking to a friend from school, no one special. It didn't sound like you were talking to no one special. I mean, it sounded like you, 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 the person is a friend, someone you're dating, right? Mom, can you please stop asking too many questions? No, 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 I'm not asking too many questions, but it's quite obvious. Uh, why, why don't you tell me who it is that you're talking to? <laughs> Mom, please, can you just stop investigating me like a detective? All right, I won't interrogate you anymore, but... I do hope that when you finally fall in love or you start dating, I know you will let your mama know, right? Mom, you know I will. So please, enough of these questions and answers like one detective that I don't know. Now, can you tell me again how you met my father? Not again. I've told you that story over and over again. I mean, why would you want to listen to it? I can never get tired of listening to a true love story. Okay, okay, I'll grant your request. And so, one sunny day, I left my father's house as a teenager to go to the stream to wash my dirty clothes. There was I washing, mm -hmm. washing and washing, and this JJC man from the city walks in, mm -hmm. staring at me. I didn't know my, you know, my <laughs> was showing. This young man from the city comes. Mm -hmm. He's so fixated at mm -hmm. what he's seeing, he missed his step and fell inside the stream. Mm -hmm. And then he started screaming, help, help, help. And guess what? I was there to help. To I help rescued the love of your life. Prince Charming. Aww. And then Aww. I said to myself, I'm falling, I'm falling, <laughs> I'm falling. Mother, your food is barely touched. Are you not hungry? I'm not hungry. I don't want to eat. Why? You don't look good. 
You look like something is bothering you. Tell me, what is it? You know, you've always been around the house. And even on occasions that you traveled, you still came back. But I'm just wondering that once you settle down and you leave the house, you'll come back again, except except to visit. And it bothers me. Mother, where is this coming from? I am still here and you're already missing me. You know, I've been praying that you would study hard and graduate and then I would still pray that God gives you a good man to marry and then, and then when you get married, you will leave me and go away and I will never, I will never see you again. I, I would miss you and I'm sorry. I... Look at my mother already missing me while I am still here. Come on, mommy. I will make sure I get married to a man in the same city with you. My daughter, the sweet talker. You know, you always have a way of bringing a smile to my face. That's why you have me. Thank you so much. I love you. And I love you more. Okay. Mm. So, when am I going to meet your best friend? My best friend? Yes. Didn't you meet Sonia at the campus? What are you talking about? I mean your best friend, your mom. Oh my goodness. Yes, you're right. <laughs> my mom is my best, best friend. Don't worry, you get to meet her soon. But now is not the right time. Why? Do you think she will disapprove of me? Is there anything wrong with me? No, not at all. My mom practically looks sad thinking about the prospect of me getting married. But you know what, when the right time comes, I will introduce you to her. But now is not the right time. When will the right time be? Your mom needs to realize that you are a grown up, beautiful lady now. And one way or the other, one day, eventually, she will have no other choice but to give you hand in marriage. Yes, I know. And she's aware. Mm -hmm. I can tell when she's at that point of accepting the fact that I need to get married soon. When she's at that point, I'll let you know. Don't worry. <sighs> All right. I just have to respect your opinion then. And you have my support. Thank you. You know I love you too much. <laughs> Thank you. You have lectures today. I think I'm done for the day. Okay, okay. I just have one more lecture left. That man's lectures are... Cool myself. I hate that class. Oh. <laughs> really? right, I'll, I'll meet you up later in the morning. Now. Are you? You dropped me. Okay. Right. okay. Are you not supposed to open this door? Sorry. Be a gentleman for once. Oh, sorry, I'm running out. Uh, it's almost like this time, baby. Shut up! <laughs> this is why you are worried. Is something bothering you? I, I, I don't understand it. You know, when she's on the call and I walk in, she will quickly cut the call. She'll end the call. And then sometimes, if she hears me coming in, she will just quickly switch off. 
All the time she walked out of the house to pick up calls. I see that city. I will you turn up? Stop! The worst of all is that I do when I ask that way. No. She was always coming from the call. She goes no one of importance. I don't get it. It's confusing. I presume you are talking about your daughter, right? Yes. Considering what you just said, she's obviously having an affair and she's just being sneaky about it. Oh, oh. You have a point there. But, but I, I don't get it. She always tells everyone that I am her best friend. So why, why keep such a secret from me? Stop! My dear, no matter how close mother and daughter are, when it comes to a sensitive matter like this, you need to calm down, be calm. That way, she will like to open up to you. That is just that. I didn't know you were this smart. <laughs> All right. But wait. Now I know what is bothering my daughter. She's afraid that when she gets married, she will leave me all alone in the house. <laughs> but you know what? She need not be, because I will definitely be able to take care of myself. You see? That is why she's been sneaky about it. I get it. I'll talk with her when I get home. All right. <laughs> Let me get married. Oh, right. Smart woman. I didn't know where this <laughs> Shut up. My <laughs> say I'm your best friend, but come on. Who is deceiving who here? What, what went wrong? You don't confide in me anymore. When you're on the phone talking and I ask you who you're talking to, you tell me nobody of importance. Yet I see the, the joy and happiness written all over your face. I'm just, I'm just scared that if you're like this now, what happens in the future? I mean, it's all the promises you made to me, you would, you wouldn't keep any of them. Mm, don't say that. Look, you're my best friend. And nobody can put that place in my life. I made those promises and I can never forget them. Just talk to me. Oh, Shishi. Of course I can. Okay, my which ones? Okay, I I promised you I was going to wear your wedding dress. You remember that? Yes, ma'am. You would really wear my wedding dress on your wedding day. Yes, I will. I know it means a lot to you. You, you will walk down the aisle in my old dress. Yes. I know it's all my words are dated. I'm 
casa do meu senhor You are meant to save life Madame Your money for that is it It is for that So what is it? What did you make? Okay, madame <laughs> Today I'm making something very really special Something very really good like oh. mm. I prepare fufu and bitter leaf soup for you. Inside that bitter leaf, you get one who give you where I carry come from my village. I wait in and please prepare the bitter leaf soup. Madam, if you chop them, hey, mm, 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 you go like them. <laughs> you made that nonsense for me. And that's what you put on my dining table for me to have as breakfast. Now, if you know what's good for you, please just go and take it out. Madam, no be nonsense, so forget that bad food where they chop every morning. Uh, tea, bread, uh, milk. This one are correct food. If you knock up this money, eh? if you go office morning till night, you go to work every week. You see me? As I strong. Aqua aqua. And ebu and ebu. Dachi da. Now, what's with the chop our village? That's all with the strong. I won't make you strong like me. Wait, shut, shut, shut your mouth. Do I look like I come from your village? Don't you know what's called upbringing? Listen, I'm a bourgeois, I'm, I'm elite. We eat bread, sausages, bacon, and cups of tea for our breakfast. So just get out and get me what I'm supposed to eat right now before I lose my temper. Sorry, sorry, I'm not losing my bed. I don't think I'm awake. Oh, oh, oh. My mom is fine. She's doing great. Speaking about my mom, I think it's time you meet her. Wow. Really? Yeah. I thought she wasn't open to the idea of you leaving her yet. Yes, she wasn't, but we had a conversation some day ago, and the conclusion of that discussion is she's getting ready to the prospect of me getting married. Wow. <laughs> I knew she was eventually going to come around, you know, because, you know, one day she knows you have to leave. So, when, when am I meeting her? I'd like to meet her. Uh, okay. I will tell her about you and ask her when she'll be free to host you. Okay, yeah. That will be great. I'm looking forward to that, baby. <laughs> it's finally working out. Yes, it is. And I'm glad she's now good with the idea of getting her. I know she's going to be lonely. She'll miss me, her baby girl. Yeah, it's a, but it's a natural phenomenon, you know. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, what are you going to have for lunch today? I want pizza and ice cream. Okay. As usual, <laughs> I have to help. Thank you, baby. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, Mother, this is my special one. The one close to my heart. His name is Terry Chike. Terry Chike. You're welcome to my home. Thank you, Mother. So, do I offer you something to eat oh. or drink? Oh, no, Mother. I am already overfed with your presence and kindness. Thank you very much. Um, you know, I'm glad you're here. You know, my daughter said so much about you. But the funny thing is, this is the first time she's bringing home a man for me to meet. So you must be very special. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Ma. Your daughter is very, very close to my heart, too. And um, I want to thank you for taking out time, you know, from your very busy schedule to meet up with me. I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. Thank you. You're welcome, my son. But I don't have a choice. I took time off work to stay back and welcome you. I'll do anything for my beautiful daughter. Now, 
let's get down to business. She said so much about you, but I would like to, like the say, hear from the horse's mouth. Tell me a bit about, you know, your background, your mother, what what she does for a living, and so on and so forth. Yeah, um, my dad is late, um, may so rest in peace. My mom is a business tycoon, you know, she imports and exports fabrics and textiles, you know, and she's really doing well, even though I miss my dad, but what can we do? Life goes on. Life does have to go on, sorry about that. May so rest in perfect peace. Um, you see, my daughter here means a lot to me. And I would like you to, you know, be nice to her. Treat her well. Let her be like your life. Don't ever ignore her. And most especially, don't let that smile fade away. You need to promise me that you're going to do that. Um, if you promise to give me your blessing, not only to court, but marry this beautiful damsel, this smile will never fade away. We will create uh, perfume memories together. We will travel around the world together. And we will give you grandkids. <laughs> yeah, like five, four boys and a girl. <laughs> like ten? You know, I had only Mommy. one. Mommy! No, we agreed on five. Five. Oh, five. five. Three girls, two boys. Okay, three girls, two boys. And maybe if you add one more boy. But by the way, I loved what you said. A few memories. Oh my God! I wish my. Let me go. Let me not go down memory lane. I just remembered my husband. You know, we used to be like. I'm talking too much. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Just love my daughter, and I give you my blessings <laughs> to treat her any way you want. Thank you. And you say and do the right thing you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine both of you. You know. <laughs> Oh, oh, please excuse me. Oh. You know, I feel um, Terry was raised well. Yes, Mom, you're right. He's a good man. He loves and cares for me. He loves me more than I love him. Wow. Well, that's a good one. I mean, it's to your advantage. Your happiness becomes his happiness. Everything he does will be for your own happiness. That's a good one for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mommy, for supporting me. I know it is not easy to raise a child on your own, having them beside you every day of your life, and one day they go to another in the name of love and marriage. Now you listen to me. Life comes in different phases. We are at a particular phase now. You have to get married and leave home. If you don't do that, then there's no progress in the family. I just thank God for the opportunity to take care of you, to help you, and do anything for you. Family. And please, stop thanking me for taking care of you. It is my duty as a mother to take care of you, to support you and be there for you anytime, anyhow, any day. So stop saying thank you. Okay, Mom. I hope you had a good time with Terry today. Yes, I did. I always do. All right, you guys yeah. went out, had all the fun without taking me along, but that's okay. I think you should go in now, shower, and then come out and just me all the neat little gritty um, details of how you spent your day with Terry. I want to hear. Um, I am excited. Okay, Mommy. Love is a good thing. When you find it, you found everything. Oh, what is this? I mean, are you messing up clothes here? I mean, watch it. Yes. 
mom, I am calling to you of my upcoming engagement party. My future mother-in-law is hosting a big engagement party for me and I want you to come around. Wow, wow, what a pleasant surprise. And when is it going to take place? A few days from now. But I want you to come before the party so you can meet your co-in-law and the both of you get along before the party. I think that's a great idea. You know I would never miss it. So, greet everyone for me and see you soon. Okay, mom. I will be expecting you. I'll send a driver to come pick you up. I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Agatha! 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 Are they here? Why are you hard of hearing? Hard? Well, I'm not the hard. Are they soft? I'll be soft, Gemma. Are you my soft? Um, go and get me a glass of juice. You know the juice that I normally take. I know. I know. They like sweet juice. They always sit here they come. Ah, gotcha. Where's the juice now? Ah. Juice my drink you put on the ground? Where you want me to keep her? Okay, make a carry on for my head. Huh? Agatha. Go and bring a stool for me to put the juice in. Madam, stew don't finish you. We don't chop all the stew with the freezer. I did not say stew. I said stool. Stew. I said stool. Stew. Um, okay, I meant, um, you know the small table? The small table side stool that you put beside chairs. Put beside chairs, you know, the ones that you can... Madam, now why did they speak of this girl? Before they make her bring some Give me the drink, now God, bring me the side stool for goodness sake. I know the type of juice where they like, the one where sit here well. So, if you say the juice is not too sweet as you go like them, I can't put 10 pieces of sugar inside, make it sit you one more. You put 10 cubes of sugar in it? Hey, make it, make a 20. If you go bring a start and put No, no, no. <laughs> take, okay? Take, take, just take, take. I want you, I want to give it to you. Drink. Drink. Yes.
Tell me to go and enjoy all the drink in the house. I will appreciate it. <laughs> oh, uh, you want me to give you some money for the production? You know you have not told me how much I'm going to get back. I cannot just put my money for anything. Okay, you're thinking of putting it on YouTube. All right, all right, no problem. So that way we can be able to measure how much is coming in. Very well. Okay, call me back saying uh, maybe at the end of the week. Then I would have uh, spoken to my banker, okay? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Send the account number um, as long as uh, I'm true with my banker so that I can transfer the money. Okay. <laughs> Now we'll do it. Well. Uh, okay. Agatha! Agatha, come and take the stool inside! Yeah, it's here. 
नाम होगा Beautiful mom. It's nice, right? Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Just look at the style. Open it, open it. Uh, you can see. Uh, 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 you know I'm tall and um, short. You, you can add something to the lower part, any plain material even. Well, uh, I, I do not really like dark colors, but for your sake I will take it. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. Mm. Here you go. You can, you can wrap it in there. <laughs> you have a beautiful place here. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you are welcome to my home. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm finally uh, happy to meet you, Mrs. Agnes. Same here. Okay, um, I want to say congratulations on your son's engagement to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> um, congratulations to you. And to your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to believe for their sakes that uh, we'll get along. Oh, definitely. All right. Definitely. Uh, Bella, you know, I'm glad to see you again. So um, why don't you all come? Let's have lunch together. I right. made some just meal for all of us. Okay. So please join me. We we'll sit here to eat. No, go to, go to the dining. Oh, <laughs> the dining. <laughs> the dining. Yes, yes Oh, because... well. <laughs> wow. Bella, mm. that's a chandelier. <laughs> Come on, Mo. I'm waiting. Oh, oh, yes, <laughs> dining. Uh, okay. So, this is my. Thank you. And it seems the <laughs> chin helps. Yeah, this is where the, you know, the workers stay. The cook, you know, the drivers. This is back, and this is the balcony. <laughs> I got that. What is it? What are you doing here? And that should get where I think go. That's why I drink that sugar. My body never be my body again. No, I be like say I won't get jedi jedi. Inside my body, the sweet, the sweet, the sweet. I don't know what it is again. Why I go? And so, what are you drinking? Eh, bitter leaf. I say we can drink bitter leaf. Make the bitter leaf go jam the 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 sweet. Wait there inside my body. Come and down. Make everywhere the bitter instead of. Alright, sorry. Sorry. Uh, my my uh, cook. Oh okay. You know she she. She took a lot of sugar. Oh. All right, sorry. Right. So come, come, let me show you. Finish it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So this is the other side. You are me. This is massive. This is really a mansion. Do you know that anyone that says being rich is not good should die of misery? <laughs> You're right, Honestly. Mom. You're right. Okay, Mom, I want you to be comfortable. Free yourself. Mm -hmm. We will all soon be family. And they are nice people. My mother in law treats me very well. Really? Yes, Mom. Well, that's good to hear. They are nice people, but I must tell you something. Rich people have a way of looking down on not so rich people. No, no, no. I mean, look at what your mother in law did when I came in. I gave her a gift. Instead of smiling and saying thank you, she started complaining. It's too short, the color is too dark, as if I knew how tall or short she is. You don't do things like that. Come on, Mom. Not the Chike's family. They are nice people. And they have never discriminated against my background. The moment she set her eyes on me, she embraced me. <laughs> Don't so that makes her special. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. She has no choice than to embrace you. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at my daughter. My daughter. Beautiful. <laughs> gorgeous and intelligent. Anyone would want to embrace you, whether you're rich or poor. Mm. Yeah. You know, you're actually doing them a favor coming into this family as a wife okay. and not them doing you a favor. <laughs> Get that into your head. There she goes again, praising me. You can't help it. Thank you, mommy. Any day. So, I want you to relax yourself. Feel free. Do whatever you want and whatever you want. Let me know. They're nice people and you get to see it. All right, if you say so. You know what? Uh, well, um, I just wanted to use this opportunity to say that actually I've put everything in place. And, um, you know, this engagement party will be the best. The talk of the town. As a matter of fact, I am making sure there will be media presence on that day. Mm -hmm. Wow, Mother, mm -hmm. media. It's just an engagement party, so why do so much? You seem to have forgotten who we are, my old son. Uh-huh. <laughs> Listen, the party will be the tour of town. Oh my goodness. Our family name is at stake. It's only the best or nothing. Listen, I mean, everything must be top notch. <laughs> you see, you're really going out of your way to make the children happy. Mm. I must commend you for that. Oh, well, well, is there any way I can assist? I mean, she's my daughter. I'd like to bring something on board to ensure that mm. it's all a success. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I've actually done everything to us the preparation. You won't be needed to do anything. Just bring your beautiful sound and just sit down and just keep cheering. You know, I ensure that whatever I am part of, do it to the best. <laughs> your help won't be needed. Just enjoy your meal, darling. Um, I I think we need to eat now. It's it's getting cold. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But, but you know, like I actually I invited the ovation. What's that man's name again? I um, um, arrived in Nigeria. And I think TBC will also be part of you. like that, right? Oh. <laughs> and they age longer, ATA, you know, even though they are aged, but you know, oh. for the old people, you know, they have to come as well, you know. Oh. <laughs> so it's, it's, and bang their papers, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sorry? You want to use the bathroom? Yeah. Oh, that one, please. No, just no, no, not the bathroom. Is it just the engagement? Is there something else that you said? Do you know, we're talking about my son. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and you don't know who I am? My daughter. Oh, place. she's so lucky to have my son. You and know. your son is <laughs> me. Just oh my goodness. My you will love it. I, 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 as a matter of fact, I'm actually looking for the contact of CNN. Yeah. Because now Mom, this has to be. Yes? Please, can we eat now? Please. Just go ahead. Oh, it it doesn't stop the rain. Oh my goodness. I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait. The whole world must know that my son is. Do you know what I'm actually thinking? Do you think we should get um, even um, CNN to come? Excuse me? You wanted something?
Sorry? Mother, you have been awfully angry and quiet. What is it? Did you hear what she said? She turned down my request. Why would she do that? Mother, maybe she declined your request to help with good intentions. She doesn't want you to stress yourself. Who's complaining about being stressed? Why would I be stressed when I'm trying to help my daughter, my only child? It's every woman's dream to see that when the daughter is preparing for something personal, she gets involved. And that's exactly what I want to do. And the one that pains me the most is that she's trying so hard to, 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 to take you away from me. No, Mom, I please. I don't want you to see it that way. Madam Patricia is a perfectionist. She only considers whatever she does the best. Please, Mom, be understanding and try to get along. Be understanding. Really? She never wastes time in showing you how rich and influential she is. Oh, this is so annoying. She's so arrogant and full of herself. Would she be the only one that has made money? I find her so irritating. But I'm trying so hard to contain that irritation all because of you. I don't want to spoil it for you. But I don't know for how long I can keep up with this, but you know what? I'll try my best to stay cool. Thank you so much, Mama. And I want you to be happy too. And be nice, please. You have seen the result of greediness and stupidity. Hmm? Too much sugar is not good for anyone. You see what happened to you? Please, watch and mind how you eat in this house. If anything happens to you, I will not be responsible. Yes, we have a lot of food in the house, but it's not licensed for you to eat like a gluten. Have I made myself clear? Press, press, madam. All right. Go to your quarters. My caribou. You can sit down. It's a fukwana, nanya nelegio. If you meluma di begio. Tule. Thank 
here to go. <sighs> you must be hungry and tired. You must be a telepath. I am so exhausted and hungry. Guess what? I prepared something special for you. Native jello fries with dry fish. You'll love this one. In my place, we call it Win the War. Come on, let's go win that war. I wonder what that could taste like. Come to the dining. Come to the dining. This is the vegetable, right? Mm -hmm. mm. You like it? Yeah. This is really good, Mom. <laughs> I really love it. Terry? Mom, what are you doing? I'm eating. This is not on the timetable. Well, Mom, this is the food my mother in law prepared for me, and I love it. It's but it's alright. You should, you should try it out. Are you serious? Just, just, I told you, this is not good for you. Uh, um, Agnes, please, I, I really, really appreciate your effort. But this, th th this rice is not good for my son. Mom, how do you know that it's not good for me? It's really nice. Because I raised you. This is not good for you. Patricia, can you please allow the young man to enjoy his food? Go on with your win the war journal of rice. Mom, please, I'm really enjoying this. You should, you should listen when your mother is speaking. Mom, I'm... I... Win the war rice. <laughs> you guys put crayfish, yeah? That's crayfish. That's oko. That's dry fish. That's oko. Come here, come here. Why did you allow that woman into my kitchen? Woman? Who be the woman? Why did you allow Agnes into my kitchen? Eh? Hey, she entered your kitchen? I don't know. How she did get that? Are you asking me? I don't know. See, she entered. Mom. You see that way you tell me make her do that day? Make her disappear. Maybe she disappear, appear for that kitchen. Maybe she be spirit though. You never can know. Maybe she be spirit. I thought you think you cannot exist in my house. Ha. Madam, ha. the eye why they look that woman, be like, she be like witch. She be like proper witch. She be like a wait till this, that kind of Yibo way they speak. Say a uh, green grass in green snake. No, Gr green snake on a green grass. Uh, Green, it get us if you take green and like that. That kind, that kind thing. Where did that woman be? That's why she. That's how they look up. That's how they look up like this. Can you just get out? Get out. You talk too much. Sorry, ma. Any other thing, ma? Sorry. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to feed my future son-in-law. Oh. You love it? Yeah, this is so good. <laughs> you prepared this yourself. Of course I did. <laughs> this is the best food you can give an African man. Once you eat this in the morning, you're made for the day. Hmm. You know, it makes the difference between a man and a woman. You eat twice as you work so by the time we get to work the production will be up hmm. you know ever since i was born my mother has never given me a swallow for breakfast really <laughs> and this one is apple this one is the best apple okay, okay apple yes <laughs> you know so just so curious to try i wonder what it looks like so, what does your mother give you in the morning? She gives us two slices of bread and a little cup of tea. You know, that, that cup. That's very really little cup in there. Yeah. Your mother is very stingy, in spite of all the money that she has. Well, I didn't tell I said so. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Oh, enjoy yourself. See, when you're done with this food, you're going to thank me later. 
Thanks. Delicious. I love it. Mm, mm. Glad you do. But this is what Bella has been enjoying, right? Yes, that's why Bella is very strong. Right, right, right. <laughs> You're the best. My son in law. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting on. <sighs> Chicken, that's why I prepared it inside there. You see? <laughs> so when you put your hand, you come out with the fufu soup and everything. Whoa, yum! <laughs> this tastes better than that cook's meal. Uh -huh. Does your mother know how to cook? Um, she yeah. really cooks. Mm. Uh, you know, <laughs> but I, I think she knows how to cook. I don't that. think so. That's why she's always dodging. You know, with her meals, she goes out, out, out. But your mother is very evil. <laughs> Yeah. If I have her in my hospital, I'll treat her well. <laughs> Go and eat. Well, mm -hmm. Let's make sure you finish the house. I'll sit here until you finish it. Okay, okay, I will. Okay, Pekwa and Pekwa and It's called him Pekwa and Ni. When you Pekwa eat, it comes out smooth and all that. What are you doing? Is, is, is there something I did that you're trying to pay me back for? What? Payback. Mother, all I did was eat the meal my mother in law prepared. So, what payback do you speak of? The meal that my mother in law prepared. Mm. Sorry. First, you say, leave rice. And now, you've thrown to the wind everything I've taught you. You're not supposed to eat anything that you're not sure of where it's gotten from. Above that, you shove down the drain, everything I said about hygiene. Okay, first, are you sure she didn't pick her nose when she was cooking? Are you sure she did not sneeze? Were you sure that she was not sweating? And was she wearing the chest cap to cover no. her hair and there were no strands of food no. in the food? Calm down. Calm down. Just calm down, please. You said I was allergic to rice. Well, I wasn't. And speaking about hygiene, I don't think that should be a problem, huh? Terry! Terry! You ate apple! You ate apple for breakfast against every, everything I've taught you, against the long-standing family tradition of eating breakfast of, you know, some bacon, some sausages, some, you know, little, you know, baked beans and some slice of bread and a little cup of tea. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to get along with my mother-in-law. Mother, we have family. I was just trying to build a bond. Please, just, just let it work. Please. No. I love you. Just, just do this for me. I want to be happy. Listen, listen. I think you're done. You're done trying to please her, okay? See, I, I, I'm no longer comfortable. She, 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 she's trying to. She, 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 she's really trying to, you know. You know, showing you, show you with so much love. I don't want it. See, you're my son. And I'm a woman. I can see that she's trying to take you away from me. Yes! Mother, mother, mother. Oh, you're eating a food. It doesn't matter, mom. We, we are family. Family. Look at that. Family. Mom, I am calling to inform you of my upcoming engagement party. My future mother-in-law is hosting a big engagement party for me and I want you to come around. So when is the party taking place? A few days from now, but I want you to come before the party so you can meet your co-in-law and the both of you will get along before the party. That sounds reasonable. Oh, the ocean flies a man with pain Soft her wings as a cloudy day As she passes all the blue waves sail I am good! Hmm, my mother is looking so happy these days. Oh, well, I mean, if you see a new day, you ought to be happy. I mean, <laughs> it's a gift from God. That's it. That's it. Mom, tell me. Is someone asking you out? Are you in love? Oh, please. Get that dirty thought off your mind. <laughs> in love, I wish. No, I'm just beginning to appreciate and enjoy the new environment and the new family. I'm beginning mm. to feel at home. 
I told you. Yeah. I told you they are nice people. And easy to get along with. Yes, yes. You I'm see? having fun now. Mm, I am happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And I'm enjoying all of that. Hmm. <laughs> I am oh. glad. I am happy you are happy. Oh, well, you've managed to convince me and um, things are taking a different turn. <laughs> I have uh, contacted uh, Rosa. She's one of the owners of the biggest wedding dresses in town. And she has imported so many beautiful, lovely dresses. So you can look at them and make a choice. You know, as my daughter in law, you need to wear the best on your wedding day. Um. <laughs> Well, uh, Mrs. Patrick, um, I'd like to tell you that um, Bella and I have decided that what she's going to wear on her wedding day. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, so Bella, you went wedding dress shopping with her husband? Hmm, is it nice? Can I see it? What does it look like? Can I see it, please? You know, a long time ago, we decided, Bella and I, that she's going to wed in the dress that I got wedded in. Help me, she brings back the old memories and the good luck that came with me would go with that too. Mm. Yes. Oh, I, I, I do admire the love, you know, daughter has for mother. Um, but Agnes, um, but I'll have you know that um, I control the phone. I take your calls. I decide on whom you speak to. <laughs> Just a joke. So you were saying you would like to eat what? Um. <laughs> I would even want to stuff her in such a dress. Something that is probably very raggedly by now. Oh, come on, that is mean and that is wicked. Look at this beautiful girl, stuffing her in a dress. Oh, come on, come on, Agnes. What are you thinking? You have your head blocked? Something you wore like, I'm sure, 50 years ago. I mean, like, do you know how many years ago you wore that thing? Come on. You're quite right, it's okay. You can have like that. You mm -hmm. talk too much, you know, like I'm Arab. But that's okay. <laughs> you see, this is between my daughter and I, and it has nothing to do with you. So if you don't mind, you mind your business for now. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I am well, sorry. You don't talk to me like that. No, I ain't shut up in my okay? house. Because oh, you know, shut up. Mother, mother, please look at me. Mother, I am not saying you are wrong. And Madame Pat is also right. I am young and I only get to be married once. Please, let me wear the gown of my choice. Wow, Jenny. You know, you should have told me that my gown is old and ugly. Instead of pretending that you were going to wear it. I can't believe this. Mother, don't get me wrong. I am not saying your gown is old and ugly. All I am saying is you should give me a chance as a bride to wear something I want to wear. Oh, really? You know, I can't believe that that, that witch has bewitched you. And she has made you change your mind. You turned against me. Why did you? You promised. You promised me you were going to wear my gown. So what are we talking about here now? Mother, at that time it felt so good and you were so happy. How could I have wiped away the glint of joy from your face when you asked me to and I said yes? You know, I, 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 but I am human. <sighs> Mother, please. I only get to be married only once. Please, let me do what pleases me. You know, I feel betrayed that her words have been able to change your mind. But you know what? It's okay. Mother, I agree I broke a promise, but this has nothing to do with Madame Pat. This is about me, my day, my wedding, and what I want. 
Then go ahead and do what you want. But I feel betrayed. Please. You won't turn your back at me. Please, Mom. You betrayed me. You turned your back. And if you're meant to love, love with no Mom. Landries, Mom. Mom, you refuse to have breakfast. Are you not speaking with me? Are you still angry at me? Of course I am angry at you. You betrayed me by breaking the promise we made to each other without even blinking an eyelid. But I have asked for your forgiveness, Mom. I am not perfect. I am human. And as part of humanity, I can be selfish sometimes. Not that I am proud to say that, but consider it as a part of my weakness. Yeah, you've said you're sorry severally, but I can't believe this. You're getting ready to buy your wedding gown and you decided to go with your in-law. You didn't even think of me. Look, it's every mother's dream to go shopping with her daughter when she's about to get married. But you chose your in-law. <clears throat> not happy at all. I heard that. Ah... Uh... Listen, I only wanted to go with her, hmm? just to show her my support. It's not my intention whatsoever to take your place in Bella's life. You're her mother, and no one can take that away from you. Bella, uh, you need to go with your mom, okay? I know you both have eyes for good things, and you can, you know, buy the best. Hmm? Uh, no, Mom, you can come along if you like. Oh, no, 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 it's all right, it's fine. Just um, go with your mother. Hmm? Actually, I have a lot of things to do, you know, but um, I just postponed them, you know, uh, because of you, but then I'll go back to them, all right? So you both just go. Excuse me. Come on, Mom. Smile for me. Can you smile for me now? Don't worry, I'm not my little smile with that. What are you doing? How are you supposed to be preparing to join Bella at the bridal store? Oh, change of plans. Her mother thinks it's her duty to make that trip with her. How does that even stop you, Mom? You were the one that referred them to the bridal store. You should be there. You should have argued about it. I want you to be a part of it, Mom. Son. Sometimes. Mother is not in the mood to argue. And um, you know the word, okay. Okay, A-Y. Hmm? Sounds a lot of problem. Besides, uh, you know, I think a mother and daughter needs to be alone. I don't want to intrude. Like you intruded and made the daughter who promised to wear her mother's wedding gown change her mind? Come on, mom. This was a bond between mother and daughter. You shouldn't be interfering. I just, I just want peace, mother. I want everything to be all right, please. <sighs> I just made a few suggestions and it was... Bella's decision to make. Besides, why are you blaming me? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, because you aired a couple of her meals, that now makes you an advocate, right? Whose side are you on, son? Mom, I'm on the right side here. I'm on the right side. And I just hope you don't go to the bride house to as promised. Please, I, I just want peace, okay? Just peace. I'm sitting here, right? I'm in the house, right? How else do I convince you that I will not be interfering? Okay, maybe I should go gardening or I should go cleaning the house, right? Okay, so because I'm dressed up, so that's why you think I'm going. Come on. Oh. All right, Mom, I understand. I just, I just want everything to be all right, okay? I know, it's all right. Holy Moses! 
so beautiful. Oh, I can't believe this. Bella, this wedding gown is, I can't even describe it. It's beautiful. But do you see the price on the tag? It's very expensive. No, I saw it. But I love it. I know you love it. But you know, I, I didn't bring you up to be extravagant. I brought you up to be prudent. You know, instead of wearing this, maybe you should wear my wedding gown. You know, you could, you could cut it up and style it into whatever you want and you would just look as beautiful. No, no, we can't part with it. What did alter your love for the dress? Baby, the gown is yours. You know what you said that day? You said you worked for me. You know, the, the fabric is expensive. You know, when your father bought it, he was very rich. He bought me the best. So if you cut it up, you'll just come up with something this nice. I, I, I guess you'll be able to do that, right? Oh, now, now we've decided on what you're going to wear. Why don't we take this back? You know, you take it out so we can go black. Oh, okay, Mom. I will. Oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, I don't see you at home, but look at you at the boutique. What? How did you know? Are you following me? Why can't you just leave them with your mother? Why? Well, I had something to do nearby and I just wanted to take a sneak peek at the dress and I promised not to interfere. You just couldn't stay away, could you? Look, this might really get Madame Magnus pissed, and I, I just don't want any trouble, Mom. Please, just stay away, okay? Oh, come on. She knows whatever I do, I do with good intentions. Well, I just wanted the best for my daughter. Son, just, just get off my phone. Who even made you a judge, by the way? Are you questioning my actions? Why am I even bothering to answer you and explaining myself to you? Mom! I'm hanging up this phone right Mom. now. Mom! to make you happy so you oh. finally made it after you declined my daughter's invitation to come with us well um well the, 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 the meeting that I was going for didn't last long and um, since I was in the neighborhood I decided to pop in and see how you people were faring 
And then, uh, Mrs. Agnes, I must commend your taste. Hmm? Oh. In the neighborhood. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. You never fail to disappoint, do you? Do you have a problem with money? Excuse me? I, it, it looks like you are letting to money as well. I mean, this girl is going to be my daughter-in-law, and I will do anything to ensure she looks good. This girl happens to be my daughter. And now she's going to be my daughter-in-law. She has always but, but you need money to make sure that your beauty radiates even much more. Please. From the day she was born, she always looked beautiful. Well, she doesn't need anything special. Bella, Bella, listen to me. You see, without money, your beauty will fade. You need to wear the most expensive things. Forget your mother and listen to me. I know she's your mother, but I'm going to be your mother-in-law. And I have money. You are meant to save life, not to take life. I am going to put a call through to our pastor. He needs to announce the date of the wedding. You see, everyone in church will be so excited with Bella's wedding. She used to be a chorister in church before she left for school. Yes, you're right. Bella is a bundle of beautiful talent. You could say that again. <laughs> but you see, um, there won't be any need for that. I'll call my pastor and um, he will schedule a Saturday for the wedding. No, you don't understand. Weddings are usually held at the bride's church. <laughs> I know. I understand. I absolutely agree with you. Good. And then um, I will not go against that. But you see, uh, Bella became a member of my church when she went to university. And that's where she and Terry met for the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Well, but is it true, Bella, are you attending her church? Um, yes, Mother. When I left for school, our church didn't have a branch in campus, so I joined another and became a worker there. I became a full-time member. Didn't bother to tell your mother. That's okay. Um, I guess um, I should retire to the bedroom because there's no point being part of the wedding plan. <laughs> Excuse me. You are meant to save life, not to take life. Must I go mess you, Mama? You are meant to save life, oh, not to take life, oh. Oh, can you never mess it? Oh, can you see Kizo? Yaki nebuzi ebu. Must I go mess you? No way I go get on. Don't say you're not needed. I need you. No. You don't need me. You need your rich, capable mother-in-law. That's what you need. Ella, I can't believe it. You actually changed your church and you didn't even tell me. You didn't even mention it for once. Mother, I didn't think it was a big deal. Oh, you didn't think it was a big deal? You did not think it was a big deal? Oh, so what was it? A small deal? Do you know how embarrassed I was in there? Come on, is that what you intend to do to your mother? <laughs> you know, I used to think we were best of friends. I used to boast that I knew every neat little detail about my daughter. But how wrong was I? Now tell me, dear Ella, any more shockers in store for me? No, any more shockers! Mother, it is not like that. Oh, I wonder how it Our is. Our church did not have a branch in campus. I had to join another. Oh. I am sorry I did not tell you. You're sorry I didn't tell you. So what do you want to do now? Or rather, what have you done? Now you are going to abandon a church that brought you up. A church you were dedicated in. A church that prayed for you and you gained admission. You're going to turn your back on them, right? No, please. It's okay. Please, do not go sentimental about this. You always say God is one and the same. Please, mom. Let it be. 
A date has been fixed and we cannot undo what has been done. You're right. We can't undo what has been done. <sighs> well, I'm going in to rest. And please do me a favor. Do not follow me. You are meant to save life. Not to take life, no sagunes you want mama. Oh, you are mother. meant to save life. Oh, oh. Terry, ah, how are you? I'm very well. Here you are, all alone again. Um, I find this place peaceful. Um, mother, um, I understand. I'm so sorry about what happened yesterday, you know, what my mom said concerning the wedding, wedding venue. It's okay, Terry. I'm not angry. I understand your mother perfectly. It's okay. Um, mother, um, it's okay. If you really want the wedding to take place in your church, then so be it. I just want peace to reign. Oh, no, Terry, that won't be necessary. I don't want your mother getting upset. If she says your church is okay, we go ahead. It's all right and everyone is happy. It doesn't really matter that um, it doesn't suit me, but that's okay. I'm just um, a poor woman uh, whose daughter is getting married into a rich family. So, it's not like that, ma'am. Um, thank you very much. Thank you so much for your understanding. Thank you. You're welcome, Terry. Agnes. Yes. What business do you have with my son? What kind of nonsense question is that? I'll have you be reminded that you're here because of your daughter, so I will advise that you stay clear of my son. What rights do you have to advise? You get so upset when I get close to your son. Yet, you've turned my daughter against me. She only listens to you. You're playing with fire. I will quench the fire. Just allow things to be the way they're meant to be. Don't allow your feelings to ruin. Just allow things to be the way they are meant to be. They say that love is strong. strong. Love can be. Bella, I advise your mother. She doesn't know who she is telling with. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Ask her. She knows what happened. Don't ask her! What is the meaning of all this? Mom, what happened? Did you engage in a fight with her? I, Agnes? Fight with her? Oh, come on. So what really happened? Because she came to me lamenting bitterly. Oh, she did? You know, it's about time you got to know the kind of future mother-in-law that you have. She walked in while I was seated there talking to her son, and she got jealous. That's all. That's all! Mother, please. If talking to Terry alone will cause a problem, please, can you just stop? That's not possible. Are you kidding me? Terry happens to be my future son-in-law. You know, telling me to stop talking to him is like saying I should stop talking to you too. Mm. 
Father, but this is causing problems. Please. I don't care. She can die for all I care. I've got a surprise. 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 This is an heirloom. It's been in the family for a long time. In the Chiki's generation's history. It's meant to be passed from one son to the other. Look at it. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes. We're meant to pass it from one son to the other. Your great-grandfather passed it on to your grandfather. And your grandfather passed it on to your father. And your father made me promise on his deathbed that I will give it to you. So you are supposed to wed your wife with this on your wedding day as tradition demands. <laughs> wed my wife with this. Yes, look at it. Wow. <laughs> it is beautiful, mother. <laughs> and old too. Oh yes, it's, it's old. It should be old because it's been in the family tradition for centuries, for generations. <laughs> what an emotional, heart-rendering story. When we talked about my wedding gown, you all said it's old and out of fashion. And now you expect my daughter to wear this tarnished Glass glazed when band power. Come on, Bella. There's no business for both of you. Well, uh, I understand how you feel. I understand you're very saddened because of your old gown. You see, um, uh, I only made a suggestion to her uh, that you force her to get a wedding dress, like a bath or a wedding dress, so she, you know, have a decision to make. She will decide what I'm forced No, but you forced it. You paid for that job. Without even asking us if it was okay. You throw your weight around trying to intimidate people. Come on, Patricia. Well, <sighs> I will have you know that when I walked into that bride shop, I did not put a gun to anyone's head. I did not force Bella to accept the dress. And I'll have you know that you did not even make any attempt to stop me. And I'll have you be reminded that I took a of a family generation. If you don't know that you will see one, then this is one. So you will not make an insult against the family tradition. Do you understand? You are not. No, I will not. You listen to me. Do not talk to me like that. Listen to me, you mad woman. You, you I are. don't care if it's your house or not. Did you say diamond? Did you call me diamond? wearing some forefather's wedding band on your wedding day. Mother, this is different. Different? Different from my old uh, uh, out-of-fashion wedding gown? What is the difference? Because a dead man's wish is attached to this. <laughs> it is a family tradition, Mom. 
I am doing this for Terry. For who? You're doing it for a dead man. Listen, Patricia, you know, is cunning and intelligent. She can get you to do anything. Yes, she can tell you any story just to buy you over. If she made a promise to a dying man, that is her business, not yours. Oh, come on, Ella, why are you acting this way? Think, think. You know, Bella, you told me. You told me you only get married once. And you want the best for you. Your wedding band, your wedding dress. What's going on? Must you wear a dead man's wedding band to make it? Mother, I am not doing this because Madame Pat says so. I am doing this for Terry and his father. Oh. I owe it to the man I love. All right. If you want to do it for Terry and his mother, that is fine. But to do it for a dead man? A dead man? No, it doesn't make sense. Now, you listen to me, baby. Traditions are made by someone. And traditions can be broken by someone else. I don't know what else to say. If you say you're doing it for Terry and his mother, that is fine. <laughs> but to tell me you're doing it for some forefather, whether it's your mother-in-law's forefathers, it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Think, my dear daughter. Think. Just allow things to be the way they are meant to be. Mr. Cedric, please, 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 you need to come. Please, 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 you need to hurry up. The AC in the quarters of my housekeepers, yes, they're not working, they're not cooling. How long will it? Okay, one hour. Okay, okay, that's fantastic. Please, please, hurry up, huh? Thank you. Thank you. I just said the um, AC in the uh, quarters are not working, so I had to call uh, Mr. Okay. CJ. Okay. Hope you're alright. I'm good, I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm just heading out to get something. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Alright, take care. We're good. Okay. Yeah, hello. Oh, Chief. <sighs> I forgot. I was, I was going to tell you. Oh, my goodness. You heard it from other people. Yes, my son is getting married. <laughs> Gaja, what is it? Hold on, hold on, finish me. Oh, the AC way you repair. Yeah, you just leave me like say I did inside the fridge. I don't feel sleep. I don't feel do anything. And that you just put off, just put off the AC then. Madam, I don't want to put off. Oh, if I put off, it will still be cold. Well, I don't beg you make you repair the AC. I, I, I'm not the used to that kind of thing. You know that for my village. I beg, come out and come out and come out and I beg. Just go to your room. Put off the AC. After 10 or 20 minutes, the room will become warm, okay? Agatha, don't, don't let me stand up from here now. Agatha, go back to your room. I feel sleep for kitchen, no. I beg, make I sleep for kitchen. I don't want to go back to that room, I beg. Agatha, don't let me get up from here. Go back to your room right now. The fight had to let it go. We can't hold love so strong. You have to let it go so that someone is compelled. You can't hold love so strong. You have to let it go so that someone is compelled. Love can do anything. Agatha! Agatha! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Agatha, you slept here. Why? Madam, good evening. Good evening by this time. 
Look at that, it is morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Why did you sleep here? Ay, madam, and because of code, though, code nearly finished my life. I don't know who sent madam message. She go call person, we can repair all the Baba things we for for this house. They can't repair the AC with them, my room joy. Since that time, I know they feel my body again. Cold day everywhere. It can't be like, see, I did inside fridge. Now I say, make I help myself, come sleep here. Before I die. I know they used to this kind of thing. I know they use them for my village. I don't know what it be easy. <laughs> if it don't be too much for village, I go come outside, use my sleep for ground. I know they do used to this guy thing. I tell her, I mean, she go come out and she refuse. I say, make a day here, help myself. Before God go finish me, I may be only child. <laughs> I go think you're very funny. So because of AC, you left your room and slept here. You say I sleep for that room by night, but don't block. My daughter, if you know what is good for you, leave this place before your madam sees you. How can you sleep here? Look, if you don't want to use the AC, the socket is close to the AC. Put it off. Hey, now the same thing when my madam tell me, make I offer. But if I offer, me go still the go. I tell her, me she can't come out her. Or me she spoil and back. I don't need them. Agatha, it is not possible. When you put it off, there is no way your room will be cold. Learn to, if you don't know how to do it, call me, I will teach you. You put it off. Okay? No, help me tell her, me she come out the easy. I don't want her. <laughs> How is she? I know the user for my village. I don't like her. I like her side side like Agatha, this. Agatha, learn to put it off. Okay? Wow. So I'm by force English. I'm by force to use AC. Are you leaving? Yes, I'm packing. <laughs> I came here for the engagement party and it's all over. So I need to get back. I'm leaving. But mom, we are still making plans and preparation for the big day. Oh, that's okay. Uh, your mother-in-law is already in charge. She knows what she's doing. I mean, she's taking care of the cake, the foods, the drinks, even your wedding gown and your wedding bag. You don't need me, so I need to leave. But mom, I still need you. You don't need me, Bella. I mean, are you a child that I need to carry around? No. You're a full-grown woman who knows how to take her decisions. And you are doing quite well. Listen, I took time off work to come here for the party and it's all over. I need to go back. If you need your mother, you know where to find her. You are meant to save life, not to take life. No sadness, you want mama. Uh oh, here you are. Can I join you? Feel free, it's your house. We are going to be family soon, so this place will also be your house. Okay. Hmm? Um, Bella tells me you're done parking and uh, wants to leave. Is there any reason why you, you know, <laughs> want to leave in such a hurry or did I do something bad to you something wrong no 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 
You've done absolutely nothing wrong to me. As, as a matter of fact, let me use this opportunity to say thank you, to commend you for what you've done in preparing for my daughter's wedding. I, I just have to go back. I need to get back to work. I mean, you, you've done everything that needs to be done towards the wedding, so there's no point staying back. I need to go. Well, I am, I am really, really relieved um, that nothing bad has been done to warrant you wanting to leave in such a hurry. I'm absolutely relieved. And um, you know what? I want to thank you. Thank you so, so very much for the time you have spent with us. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I do. Uh, there's no point thanking me. Like you said earlier, I will soon be family. And these are things we do for each other. I mean, family for family. this <laughs> way. Uh. <laughs> Our wife, you know, I'm Agatha, what is it? Uh, Agatha, they here for you. You know, says your mama, they come out too. As she they go, she call me. She say, Agatha, take care of my bikini for me. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so I won't go market now. I won't know what you go like chop. You go like chop fufu? Adina Gary? Or Fio Fio? Or oh, what you be this one? Or you go get it. You know, say, your mama know what's up. Me and your mama, you be late where where. Now she they follow me, they chop all this kind of fufu, all the better food for this house. Hmm? And she don't go now. She say, make her feed you like that. Because my baby, my wife, new wife, very soon now, they love the show. You need food, strong, strong food, we go make you go strong, so that the bikini come. One hand, you don't push and come out. And that kind of food go give you that energy. <laughs> Agatha, please, thank you very much. I am fine. But if I need anything, I will let you know. You sure? Yes. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Because, the thing why the thing is here, because your mama... <laughs> Sorry, 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 no verse. I, I, I know if you control them. You know, now this thing where they, they call for the primary school data, it's a natural phenomenon. I know if you control them, I beg. You know, they know when you do. Hey! I can't leave my room. You should excuse yourself whenever you want to sneeze. No verse, no verse. If it happened to anybody, if it happened to you, you say. You can't go. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I, I, I don't know. Can you imagine? Yes. You've been looking so moody since you got back. You know, is it about your man? I suppose you miss her, right? Mm -hmm. I have been thinking about their everyday quarrel and arguments. <laughs> you mean our mom is right? Yes. No, babe. I just hope this clash, quarrel, arguments, and whatever it is, I just hope it doesn't affect our relationship. Oh, come on, no. Look, we have a mind of our own, so why should it affect our relationship? No. Okay, this is our decision to make. Our mothers do not have a say in this, all right? And I hope your mom won't tell you what to do tomorrow. No, she won't. I think she has to respect my opinion. I love you. So she doesn't have a say there. You get me? This is this You know how to get me? Leave me alone. <laughs> you know how to get me, baby. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Mommy. Oh, baby. Yes, Where is your fiance? He's putting our stuff in the car.
Just don't do anything that will distract you so that you'll be able to do your exams, okay? All right. Yes, I'm going on. Yeah. I'm missing you already. No, no, don't even talk about it. I'm going to start crying. I'm going to start crying now. I'm going to miss you. Oh. Come on, come on. I'm late for the office. Okay. okay. All right, so you can run along. Okay, take care. I'll meet you again. So bye, okay? to London and came back from London, if I need a London.
Um, I spoke with him yesterday and um, he expressed the goodness to me with you and talk about mm. it, man. I hope you were convincing. Yes, ma. Because I hear that he is hard not to crack. Right. I hope everything is set also. Yes, just one thing left. I submitted the proposal for your approval and I'm here to hear from you, ma. I worked on it. I worked on it. I signed it. Oh my goodness. It's among the files I took home. Oh dear. It means I will have to go home and get it. And then I think I'll also use the opportunity to check the plumbers who are working on the leakage in the house. Alright, you know what? Um, just then, you know, uh, uh, I'll just have to be going now. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Oh. Um, 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 uh, uh, what do you call it? Vivian? Agatha!
Come on, just ladies. To save life, not to take life. No saga, no see you. Well, how are you doing? I need you to find the person of the people. Oh, I must have justice against the one that inflicted this pain on me and 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 took away the family, family. Treasure, very vulnerable. Treasure, please. That's why I'm here to speak to a witness. You said Madam here came to your rescue after she managed to free herself, right? Yes, I screamed for her <laughs> to come. Madam, uh, please, what exactly happened? What? I'll okay, what? what happened? I will tell you what happened. But let me put my, myself together first. You see, I, I, I am still slightly traumatized. I, it was a terrible, a horrible experience. I mean, I've never experienced anything like this in my life. Uh, my name is, uh, my name, my name is Agnes. I'm, I'm a trained nurse, a, a matron in my uh, hospital. Okay, all right. I will tell you what happened. I had forgotten my phone in the house. So I, I came in that day to pick up my phone. I, I didn't see her car outside, I, I, but you know, I figured she might be in because sometimes she would send the driver out while she's in. So I came in, I called out her name, she didn't answer. So I, I, I decided to go to my room to get my phone. And some people attacked me from the back, whether it was one, two, or I don't know, but I know I was attacked. And they gagged me up, they, they covered my eyes, Told me to keep quiet and tie my hands and my legs. And then she, 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 Patricia came into the house. I, I knew she came in because I had the car, I had the horn, and I'm used to the sound of her car. I, I tried to call out to her, but she, she couldn't hear because I couldn't speak out. I was gagged up, you know. And then I. I was just there. The next thing I heard, I screaming and crying for help. I listened and everywhere was quiet. So I figured the robbers had left 
So I, 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 I'm losing myself. I don't know how I did it, but God is awesome because when He works, He works mightily. So I, 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 I'm losing myself, and I ran to her rescue, and I saw her there, and I was, I, I can't even describe what I saw. It was very traumatic. I, I don't even want to talk about it. And, I'm sorry. Well, I, I met around the old house. Now, how nothing missing was going on. Yes. There was the there was nothing is missing was going on. Oh, they are experts. I swear those robbers are experts. Sorry. You didn't even see that. Oh, please. You need to find it. It's a family treasure. <laughs> If that thing is lost, it means they have desecrated the cheapest history and generation. It can't be lost. Yes. That, fam that thing unites my family. The hell of you're talking about, it wasn't there. It is not there. Oh. And my boys checked very carefully, it's not there. You said it is priceless. Yes. As you said, the robbers also know that it is, so it is priceless. And they must have taken it away. Yes, you must have taken it away. It's not that I said it's priceless, it's diamond, and it has been in the family. It's a symbol of our love, of our history. It's okay. You have to find it. I mean, they might think it's glass, but it's really diamond. It's okay. Please. I'll mobilize my boys who will go to the streets, who will go to the street sellers, who will go to the black marketers, who will check them very thoroughly. And we'll wait in the markets and see whether anybody is going to come out with a priceless heirloom with the intention of selling it. Fine. Right. No, I promise you. Fine. Right. Find your priceless heirloom. Please find it for her. Our family cannot be desecrated. And my daughter must get married. The symbol of our love and union and unity. And it's come down from generation to Yes. Please. <laughs> It's been in the I promise family you. for centuries. You. you need to find it. You promise. We are going to the task. Actually, at the hospital, uh, with, well, with a special guest. No, 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 nothing serious. She'll get by. And how are you doing? How is Terry? Give him my love, and tell him I said he should try not to skip any of his meals. Okay? Okay. Take care. I'll keep in touch. All right then. Bye. Why did you stop me from telling her you're sick? You know, um, I, I have to because um, I don't want to bother her. You know, it's, it's, it's not right to no, let her know what's going on. You know how Bella worries, huh? Yeah. And, um, you know, they're, they're in school writing their final exams. And, you know, Terry, my son, can hold it together, but I don't want him to. Happy, you know, upset, please. No, I understand. It's just that, you know, Bella and I are very close. We don't keep anything from each other. <laughs> well, uh, it is good to share everything with our loved ones. But it is expedient to know that there's a time to share things. Otherwise, it will upset their equilibrium. Mm. You know, right now, you know, uh, they're writing the most important, you know, exams in the academy. So, giving her such information will upset her equilibrium. So, no, 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 no. This is not the time. Maybe later. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I never thought about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, the 
do you think you need to call um, uh, the doctor when she gave me another painkiller or something? <sighs> Finally, we're leaving today. Yes. Oh, hello. It's this crazy. Good morning. Good morning, doctor. And how is our most strongest woman on earth doing today? Doctor. I'm not sure that title belongs to me. This pain is. pain is killing me. Pain is too much. So sorry, ma'am. You're doing great so far and you're good to go. You'll be going on today, but I will assign a nurse who will take care of you in the house because you'll be in a wheelchair so that your legs can heal fast. Doctor, I'm a professional nurse. I'm actually a matron in my hospital. Here. So I'm going to take care of her. Besides, I'm family. I mean, who would take better care of anyone than family? Um, my dear Patricia, are you okay if this woman taking care of you? Oh, uh, she's not just a woman, she's family. It's great to hear. So you are good to rock and roll. Madam, please come with me. Let me give you some medication and the wheelchair. And on a monthly basis, she'll be coming for routine checkup. Definitely, I'll ensure she comes as at Wendy. You are meant to save life, not to take life. No sagunes you want mama. You are meant to save life, oh, not to take life, oh. O kini ne mezino, o kunya si kizo, nya kini buzi bu. No sagunes you, walunwa yo kuferora rozolo kini yo, no suvani yo. Eche fukwa na nanya nelegiyo Ifi meluma di begiyo Tule memegiyo Moga di gimba Okini ne mezinu Nasago nesiyo Nasago nesiyo Doji doche ginaka Nasago nesiyo Ifi meluma di begi Emegiyo Moga di gimba you are meant to save her, not to kill her. You are meant to save her, not to kill her. You are meant to keep her, not to destroy her. You are meant to save her, not to kill her. You are meant to save life, not to take life. No sagunesio, mama. You are meant to save life, oh. Not to take life, oh. O kini ne mezino, o kunya si kizo, nya kini buzi bu. No sagi nesio, walunwa yo kuferora rozolo kini yo. No suvani yo, eche fukwa na nanya nelegi yo. Ifi meluma di begi yo, tule. Memegia moga digima okini ne mezino nasu wenu wa ya. I'm very grateful to you. I just want to say thank you so so much. You saved my life. What would I have done if you hadn't been around? On that day, the pain would have been too much, and to think that you also, you know, a, 
agreed to take care of me. You, you, you volunteered. Thank you so much. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to upset me? Very soon, we are going to be family. And family look out for each other, all right? So please don't thank me. All right, I'm doing what I should be doing. Oh, so much, the pain is so much. I want to say God will bless you. I can only offer prayers to God to bless you for me. That's the greatest gift that you can give to me. I appreciate it. Maybe I should lie down. I don't even know. Oh, God. How can I wait for the pain to go? <laughs> Agnes. Yes, madam. Oh. May I help you? Mind if I sit down? Yes, please, you can sit. Sorry. Thank you. Um, I know you're not really used to the house and the way it's being run, especially with the food menu and the kind of things I like to eat. So, um, I just thought I'd you know, run you through. Uh, in the mornings and uh, my lunch and dinner whenever I'm in the house uh, when it concerns my breakfast um, I like the full English breakfast and my oats uh, needs to be well cooked uh, we need to add some salt and uh, it needs to be simmered for about 15 minutes and that way it will be soft enough to, you know, to give me the kind of texture that I want. I do take milk but I know you see different kinds of milk in the house but what I actually take is skimmed milk so that should come with my breakfast in red apple and then of course um, you know the basic um, Iced liver and um, bacon, some sausages, and um, you know, freshly squeezed juice as well. And that's for breakfast. And then, um, <clears throat> uh, when it concerns my lunch, um, you know, I like it a bit um, slightly heavy, but with a lot of vegetables, you know. So, and um, for the evenings, I don't mind salad and then. You know, some fish and shrimps, basically. Bold, bold. I, I like to eat healthy. And um, so, uh, <clears throat> and uh, ensure that uh, my water is always room temperature because it's very good for the heart. And so if you can get all this together, I'll be very happy. And that's about that. So this thing you just ordered, you ordered it as what? You're asking for that as the president or as Queen Elizabeth? Excuse me, this is my house and that's how I eat. And that's what I'm used to eating. Now listen to me. I'll go to the kitchen and prepare your breakfast for you. Alright? So you calm down and wait for your breakfast. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold on. Um, I know you may not be used to it, but you can get Agatha to help you. She knows what I eat and how I like my food. What to do? Agatha traveled home to see her mother. Why would Agatha travel without telling me? She is. Oh, uh, could you please give me my phone so I can call the agency? You know, the brother, because I need to report that. That's wrong. You don't have to do that. I'll take care of everything. Let me go prepare the breakfast. All right? Not in this way. Thank you. Done. <laughs> Oranges, the right size. Watermelon juice. Oh. Vegetable juice. What? Right. Oh. Not in this. 
Breakfast is ready, so I'll tell her to come and carry her breakfast. It took a long time. I'm sorry, everything is all set now. I'm sorry, the order was quite tall. I'm done with the breakfast, so when you're ready to eat, you go to the kitchen and um, take your food. For the meantime, I need to run by credit. Sorry, I don't understand. You don't understand? Please help me to get into the chair. Oh, no, I can't. When you were making the tall order, you didn't think of how you were going to get to your food. If you'll excuse me, I need to come by the credit, sir. Find your way to the kitchen. I'm hungry. And I need to take my medication. Okay, oh, this is... Agnes, please, don't do this. Oh, God. What's going on here? 
Why are you on the floor? Please. Why are you on the floor? Please, uh, help me. Do you think you're a baby? No, do you think you're a baby? I said, what are you doing on the floor? Please. So you couldn't crawl to the kitchen to get your food. Oh. But if you're not hungry, you lie here and rest. Oh, the God. next time you miss me, I'll smack your bum bum. Want me to smack your bum bum? No. A, a smack? No. Smack it! Smack it! Naughty girl. Naughty. 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 Are you holding on to my leg? Yes. Three, so you choose what you want. I don't know which one you would like to read. Well, I've had enough of this. Let me just have this one. I should take this one's back. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to go and come back it's when okay. it's not getting any longer. Mm, that's good. Oh, thank you. Okay. It's so nice to hear from you. I'm fine. I just had a little accident. Your mom didn't tell you? Oh. Mm, it's alright. Um, I, I, I have to be in a wheelchair at the moment just so that my legs can heal fast. No, 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 you don't need to worry. No, don't worry. Forgive her. Maybe she forgot to tell you. Oh, thank you so much for calling. I'll tell her you called. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> oh, you just had a call? Oh, yes. Bella called. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, she didn't ask to speak with me. Ah. Uh... I believe maybe she didn't want to, but then she has your phone number, so she'll call you. I guess so. I, I guess so. So, uh -huh. Mr. Um, could you um, give me something to chew? Um, get me some granite. No, 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 no. Um, not granite, so. Cashew nuts. No, no. The last time I went to London, I bought some almonds. So if you want to go to my room and. Uh, Oh, the, the chef on the left side. Okay. Yes, almonds from London. Yes. <laughs> Thank uh, you. You forgot to say please. <sighs> My apologies. <laughs> please. All right. Almonds from London. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You are meant to save life, oh, not to take life, oh. Oh, kini ne mezino, oh, kunya sikizo, nyaki ne buzebu. She has What are you talking about? That's exactly what you said to my daughter. That's what she said to her when she asked 
why I did not tell her the truth on ground. I mean, what happened to... Uh, what, what was it? I, didn't, I told her not to tell you because I, I didn't want you to get worried. But no, you wanted to make me look like the bad one while you end up looking like the good guy. I don't know, I don't know, you, you, you're getting this all wrong, really. The way you would have said it to her is not the way I did. I'm the one in pains. And um, in order not to get her flustered, you know, I, I, I made it look like I'm cool mm -hmm. and she bought it. Patricia, of course you're always cool and smooth. Very tricky. You always make everyone feel like they're foolish. Why are you making a big deal out of this? Eh? Why are you making a big deal out of it? You see, it doesn't matter who breaks the silence. All that matters is that she thinks I'm cool. I'm not in bad shape. Okay, no problems. When she calls and tries to find out why I did not tell her, I will inform her you told me not to. I don't think that's wise. Uh. Agnes, I don't think that's why. See, that, that, that's, that's what I've been saying. You're not diplomatic in the way you, you, you do things and, 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 and say things. I mean, if, if you do that, she will begin to think that the situation is worse off than it is. And then she will begin to worry. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Come on now, come on. That's not right. This. I can't believe this, Patricia. In a wheelchair and even in pain, you're so conniving and manipulating. Just to make yourself look good. And every other person is a bad Please, let me get you into bed. What's wrong with you? Let me get you into bed. I'm not having my cup of tea. Will you get into bed first? But I need to have my green tea. Okay, I'll get it. I want to pee pee. I'll get down the bucket. You have to get the hot water for me to wipe too. This way. Oh, Bella. Oh, my dear. This is so nice of you. To hear from you. Oh, my God. Oh, your mom. She's fantastic. She's taking good care of me. <laughs> Terry? <laughs> well, he hasn't called much. He scolded me. He said I should have been more careful. Really? That's a first. It's okay. Oh, sure, I'll tell your mom. Oh, I'll tell her you called. Uh, don't you want to speak with her? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just tell her if you called, okay? Bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Bella, Bella, Bella. Such a sweet girl. <laughs> Bella has called Patricia twice. And she didn't even bother to call me. Not even once. Oh, God. Patricia must be enjoying having my daughter's attention and not minding that my daughter isn't speaking to me. I'm sure Bella is angry I kept this a secret. I knew Patricia was up to no good when she asked me not to speak or tell Bella what is transpiring in the house. But then she went ahead and told her. Oh, even in the wheelchair, she seems to be winning. When I'm the one moving around and controlling things. It's time I tell her who is standing and who is handicapped. I will punish her for trying to turn my daughter against me by making me look like the bad guy. Patricia, get ready for what is to come. By the time I'm done with you, you'll be shocked when you hear my name without even seeing me. Patricia, hell is coming your way. Okunye sikizo nyakine buzebu nasagine siyo walunwa yokuvirora rozolugniyo 
Nasubanya Eto fukwa na nanya nelegia Ifi meluma di begia Tule Memegia Moga digimba Okini ne mezino Nasubanya you are meant to save us, not to kill us. You are meant to save us, not to kill us. You are meant to, you are meant to keep us, not to destroy us. You are meant to Agnes Agnes Ag Did you call? Yes, I'm hungry, but um I was looking for my phone. I can't find it. Uh, my phone. Yeah, my phone. I can't find it. I, I don't know what happened. Um. I have your phone. Oh, do I have a bit? I don't think so. I think it's a bit distracting. You tend to get a lot of calls. Henceforth, I'll keep the phone and I'll monitor your calls. Your business calls, your social calls, your family calls. When your business partners call, I will let them know that they can't speak to you until they're much better. So, I keep the phone. Please, can I have my phone? Please shut up. Listen, I keep the phone. You're not the boss anymore. I am now in charge. I answer whomever I want to answer. On your behalf, of course. Now, you were saying you wanted to eat what? This way. Agnes. 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 I'm not shooting as if you can't even hear me. You're shooting us, Susie. It reminds me of my husband. We used to book it out to this. And we may help you. Do you need anything? I want to drink some juice, please. Some juice? Please, yes. Just a minute. Did you just... Oh, juice.
I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, I, I, I need to apologize because you've been acting strange. I mean, you, you got my drink. You eat my food and you leave me with leftovers and you seize my phone. And you're behaving strange. And I want to say if I've done anything wrong, Please forgive me, I, 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 I don't know. I don't understand your, you know, why you're bitter and everything. First of all, I want to say that I am a trained nurse. I am very professional to the letter T. And, um, you know, this your sickness is not something to be taken light. And I take my duty seriously. Let me look at you. Half crippled. You can't walk. You can hardly move around. I have to lift you up to put you in the seat. You know, you're half crippled. And um, when you eat all these things you mentioned, you tend to put on weight. And the weight would be on the leg. The leg would never heal well. So I needed to put you on a diet to help the leg to heal. I'm not doing all these things because I hate you. I mean, my good man, you're a sweet in-law and I do appreciate you. I mean, I love the way you love my daughter. So, I, I mean, you should have said it like this all along. You know, not the way you were coming across. Now it makes a lot of sense. Is there anything you'd like me to pick up for you? Just to show you that I bear no grudges. Um, I want <coughs> fried goat meat. <laughs> and then um, I need it to come with, you know, the fresh sauce, you know, fresh pepper, tomatoes, onions, um, crushed garlic. And there, there must be some sprinkling of um, ginger on it. And now I like to have it with a, 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 a glass of, you know, a glass of what? Grape juice. See. Well, uh, that's not a problem because we can't have any more. I am going to provide you with fio fio. Okay, just call it fio fio. I'll provide you with fio fio. You know fia fia? Fia fia. I'd rather prepare that for you and then I'll buy. Those are the things, the kind of nutrition you need to make you strong. Listen, listen to me, Mr. Peter, or whatever you're called. No, no, you listen to me. So what if you're the manager of the company? She is not feeling well. You know what? Whatever problem it is, Handle it. That is why you're the manager. Don't call this number again. I mean, you keep sending text messages, calling, disturbing our peace here. Your madame is not feeling well. Period. Now get off the phone. I am feeling well. It's just my legs. I need my phone. That's my manager. Can I speak with him? Excuse me. Do you even need to leave them before you have one? This man is a madman. He's a maniac. Please. We're talking about my business, my company. Can I speak to my manager, please? Let me have a look. Hold on. Are you trying to tell me that whatever situation is taking place in your office is more important than your health? You are too ambitious. Stay away from the phone. It's getting better. Then you'll be able to go back to the office. It's cold. Mr. Peter, go to sleep, go to bed. You know what? Go to hell. And if you are meant to love, love with no boundaries, just allow the things to be the way they're meant to be. Love can kill all, but love can save all. Love is just like an egg. You 
can't hold it so hard. You have to let it go. For someone has to fail it. Oh, oh, not in this way. Not in this way. Not in this way. Without meat? Besides, you're giving me leftover? This is not going to happen. But it's already happened. I mean, leftover food? No, it's not leftover. I just took out the meat. It's happening. No, okay, tell me, what would you do? What would a semi creeper do? Nothing. Listen, you do not need meat. You're old. You don't have to eat meat. So get meat out of your diet so you can recuperate faster. I'll get you water. I, I, are, you, are you kidding me? I'm old? What are you talking about? You are older than me. And, and, and if anyone should not eat meat, it is you and not me. Well, it has nothing to do with who's older than who. Even if I am older than you, my dear, I am healthy. You're not. You do not need meat. It will make your health to deteriorate. So, eat what you have been given and be happy. I, 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 I don't get this. Is this part of doctor's recommendation? Mm -hmm. That I should not eat meat? Or are you just trying to mess up with me for God knows what? I am not trying to mess up with you. The doctor instructed me that I should do everything within my power to ensure that you get better. And one of the ways of getting better is by removing meat from your food. Now eat up because you need to take your medication. I will not eat this. Now eat up. So I will not eat left over from you. I would not. Eat up so you can take your medication. I will not eat it. I will not eat food without me. You will not. I will not. Okay. When you're ready to take your medication, you call me. But for the meantime, I will take my room. He's a miracle working guy. I think he used to spell that Mr. the fuck. He's a miracle working guy. He's oh, it's good to be healthy. And you make a he's a miracle working guy. As I go mess you, you are meant to keep up, not to destroy you. No, you have to take it off. You can wear that. I can't share. Please, this, this is special to me. This house cold, this is special to me. You can't wear it. What is it? This. What is the big deal about this house coat? This was specially given to me by my husband. I don't share. Ah, no, no, no. Take it off. Please take it off. Take it off. The problem you have is that it's never meant to share. It's just a night. All right? There's nothing special about it. It was given to me by my late husband on our very last anniversary before his untimely death. So you should understand that this is special to me. This is special. Take it off. You know your problem. You don't like to share. You don't like sharing. 
But you know what? The good Lord is always awesome because he takes from the rich and he gives those not too rich. And you're even lucky your husband stayed, you know, to whatever age to buy you a house coat. Mine died early. So can you keep quiet and let's get you into bed? Stop twisting things. Don't twist scriptures. Take my house coat off. I am not joking with you. Please. Who's Let's... joking? Do I look like I'm joking with you? I'm not going to take it off. Listen, I'm feeling sleepy. I need to get you into bed so we can both rest. I said that house coat is special to me, given to my to me by my late husband. I will not share it with you. Take it off. Take it off, Agnes. Did you just shout at me? No, did you just shout at me? <laughs> okay, you come take it out. No, no, get up from your wheelchair and take off the house coat. You're eyeing me. Okay, since you're not ready to go to bed, I am feeling sleepy. I'm hopping into bed. Don't go to my bed. This is my bed. Go to your room. <laughs> Please no don't bed. climb my bed. Your bed is special. Oh, what? And you put me in that horrible room. Oh. Agnes. Ooh. Oh. Agnes, you oh. cannot desecrate my bed and desecrate oh. my nightwear. I want to Give pray. it to me. Please get out from my bed Please. and remove that house coat. Just keep quiet. I want to pray. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down on a good bed. He prepares my meals. And gives me money as I want at his own will. Surely, God's goodness and mercy. Agnes, 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 please help me. Agnes. Agnes, please, I can't hold it much longer, please. Oh, stop this, stop please, come and roll me to the bathroom. Come and roll me to the toilet, please. I need to pee pee. I don't want to pee pee my body, please. please. Stop to pee 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 all the time. Please, roll help. yourself to the bathroom and pee pee. Agnes, please stop choking now, please, please. I can't hold it much longer, please. Agnes, please, I don't want to pee pee now. I don't want to pee pee my body now. <laughs> Yakine buzebu Nasagenesia Walumaya Kofir or Rosoluginio Nasuvania Etsafuquana Nanyan Elegio Ifi Melumadi Begio Tule Memegia Mogadigima Okinin. You peed on yourself. You are still asleep. When your urine is reeking all over the place. Have you, have you gone mad? You are the one that's mad and crazy. I, I begged here last night to, to take me to the convenience and you refused. Oh, I take exception to you calling me such names. You're the one that is mad. You're the one that is crazy. You're the one that is out of your mind. Because you're me and you get you. So after peeing on yourself, you have the cause to open your mouth and talk. Huh? You're crazy. You are the one that is mad and crazy. You have a mind to lay on my bed and refuse to take me to the loo. And you tell me that I bleed on myself. Well, when you're done ranting, you will need to change. I would. But first of all, let me tell you that I have a good night's sleep. This mattress is the best. And uh, talking about changing you, you are going to have to be in this. Be like this for the rest of today. I need to go prepare breakfast for myself. Agnes, you will need to change me. 
You have changed me, you have to change me. You will change me. Come along. You have to change me. Agnes, you have to change me. You have to change me, Agnes. Sikizo, nyaki nebu zebu, nasa kinesia. Agnes, Agnes, could you come, please? Come, come on. You seem so excited this morning. What's going on? Yeah, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, because, uh, yeah, you, you, you just spoke to me the other day. I felt bad, but I took time to think about it, and I realized that you were right with what you said. You're surprising me with what you're saying. I didn't do much. You're the one that did everything. <laughs> I, I wanted to show you something. You do? Yeah. Okay. What? Could you take a few steps that way? Is yeah, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I want to say thank you once again. For what? Because you, 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 you're responsible for, for this and I just wanted to show you. I wanted to show you something. No, don't, 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 don't help me. Now, this is right. You, you did it, but listen, you don't have to exert yourself, all right? You don't have to put so much weight on the leg. We don't want to start from point A again, do we? No, I, I don't want to go back there. You told me to be strong. Yes. You told me that I can do it. I, and then I want to walk. I want to, I want to run and see the sunshine. Ah, yeah, I want to walk easy. more. No, no, no. no. Just a little more. You can't afford to put the weight on it, okay? That's all right. That's all right for now. Let's go back. Let's go back. No, but I don't want to sit there. Yeah, I know, but, you know. <laughs> I, I just, uh, I wish I could, I could speak to my son and Bella. They could oh, see me. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> no, don't worry. Oh, okay. I, do, I just want to just stand a little bit. You've done so well. Congratulations. You did it by yourself. No. You're such a determined woman. <laughs> Thank you. I should say congratulations to you. You, you did a fantastic job. Okay, you, you I think me. you need to go back to your No, seat no. I want to stand and, and look and I want to walk. Rock. So I can do basic things. I don't want to depend on anybody. I know. I don't want to depend on you. That's Patricia for you. <laughs> Strong and independent, <laughs> and <laughs> I want to look everywhere. <sighs> I can move. The leg is really strong. Yes, I need to move. Okay. It's just this one. Is does it still hurt? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. But I want to just stand. I stand. No, we can't have this. We can't have that. This can't be happening so soon. 
I am not done. I am not through with her. She can't even be in a hurry to walk and run. I need her to remain in that chair, under my mercy, while I punish her for feeling so on top and in charge. She needs to be punished for trying to separate a child from her mother. And if you are meant to love, love with no boundaries, just allow the things to be their way they're meant to be. Love can kill, but love can save. Here's your juice. Make sure you finish everything. So I cannot have a full glass of drink in my house any longer, right? You know, you're too much water. Go ahead and drink up. And if I say I'm not gonna drink it, what you gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. Just that you get better. Wear your shoes, run around, and do things, people. <laughs> but you can't do that sitting on the wheelchair. <clears throat> so drink up. I'm doing you a favor. Now a good mind to splash through this drink right now. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Because I'll go right back into the kitchen, fill up the glass, and splash it on your face. And then maybe, just maybe I'll be kind. Now drink up. Stop looking at me, that man. Go on, we're almost done. Good girl. I can finish it. <laughs> No 
Agnes. Agnes. Oh, this one, she's, she's so deaf. Agnes. Patricia. Patricia, you never give one a break. May I help you? I was just saying that I'm sorry to bother you, and if you could just do me a little favor. You could keep your apologies to yourself, because I know you didn't mean it. But that's beside the point. May I help you? I want some seedless red grape, and I want red apple. No, I don't like the green one. The juicy red apple? Yeah. Instead of one, I'll get you two. The seedless grapes? Mm. Would you like pineapple? Well, not today, not now. Here you go. Water for you, okay? I'll get it. Lisa. Thank you. I say the love is strong. strong. Love can pull my own things. I say the love is blind. blind. Love can do anything. Oh, oh, not in this way. Here you go. Water for you. Take it. Back tap of water will get you some fruits. You don't want to take it? Wine. The last time I gave you wine, you complained that both legs got paralyzed. I don't want to give you fruit and then you tell me you can see you've suddenly got blind. That would have been nice. So you take water. Water has no enemy. You drink it and it will flush all the toxins in your system away. When you're done, call me. Oh, by the way, I'm going to prepare fish pepper soup for you. You have a treat today. Protein in your pepper soup. Excuse me. I need to prepare some.
your food so you can take your medication. Go on. I'm not gonna eat it. Why did you do that? Are you suddenly going crazy? Hmm. Who wouldn't? When one is struck with a cold-hearted killer like you, murderer. Now you watch your tongue. All right? You're going to reach out for the food. You're going to eat it so you can have your medication. You know, you already know what I can do intentionally and unintentionally. <laughs> like you can. Hmm? What do you care if I don't eat the food? Are you gonna use a wound to hit my head and send me to an early grave? <laughs> you wouldn't like what I would do to you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're going to reach out and grab that food and eat it. And I say I'm not going to eat it. Oh! You poisoned it. And that's why you want me to eat it. <laughs> Okay, you know, sometimes I actually wonder, how do you intend to end me? <laughs> Seeing that I'm the only living witness against you and who will expose you to the world. Hmm? How do you intend to kill me? If I wanted to kill you, I would have killed you a million times over. Hmm. And then I would stage a perfect emergency. No one would suspect me. <laughs> but then I ask myself, why would I want to kill a semi ah cripple? There's no point. Up for your information. I have told the doctor that you are beginning to hallucinate as a result of the pain ah, you have on both legs. And guess what? He has put it down in your file and recommended hallucination drugs. 
Wow. You know, I I really underestimated you. You're a sheep devil. But I will expose you. I will expose you. A she devil? A he devil? A she he devil? A he she devil? It doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you will eat the food. You will eat the food. I will not eat the food. You will not eat the food. I'm not eating it. <laughs> now let's see. Is and you didn't shout out my name, but you were busy hitting the chair. <laughs> Let me find out who called me. Let's find out who called. Oh, oh, two missed calls from your darling son. Let me speak to my son, please. I'm going to speak to you. Yes. I can be very nice, you know. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. The phone is locked. It is? Who locked it? Try again. Go on. Try a second time. You better give me the phone. Not to take life. And Doctor Wanda. Yes, I'll be back soon. You take care of things. Oh no, no, I'm doing uh, a high tech client.
you just touch the phone? Or strike it. To play a video game. I know I can leave it. Ah! The video game is Terry game. Right? I was trying to call my son. I mean, since you're going to kill me, why don't you just let me speak to my son? At least just once, and then he can hear my voice, and I can hear you. And then I decided to uncoast the phone so that you would just try and mess yourself off like you just did. Um, you know, you're very sly and really careful, my dad. Do you feel like I'm controlling? How does it feel being confined to the city? What are you wrong from? Take it from another angle. You know, you're always used to being in charge. the room stuffy enough? Oh, would you have me turn on the heater in the bathroom? Oh, you're all sweaty. I'm sorry about that. It wasn't my intention to make you uncomfortable. But then again, I mean, you don't look bad with all the sweat on your face. <laughs> oh, I came to tell you that I'm going somewhere. I need to go pick up a package. Now promise me you'll be a good girl. Don't go to the window screaming, asking for help. Because I'll catch you. Okay? If you behave yourself, while coming back, I'll buy you. What do you want? Cheese balls. Very tasty. See you soon. I love you too, Buju Buju. <laughs> Uh, it's okay, you can keep spitting, that's all right. It's not your hot. Did 
Did you just spit on me? It's okay, I'm not going to beat you. Just. To save life, not to take life. No saganessio, mama. You are meant to save life, oh, not to take life, oh. Oh, guinea name is in a cunya sikizo. Mom, the king. Where, where are you rushing to with your food? My your sister, she asked me to bring her food. So she can eat Oh, my sister. Oh, my job. I went out to buy the vegetables. Now she is coming. Oh, she's sick. She, she, she's a bit. No problem. I can tell anybody. It is sweet. For the next two days, we will find her out of the country. So don't bother coming back. You are meant to save life, not to take life. No saganessio, mama. You are meant to save life, oh, not to take life, oh. O kini ne mesino, o kunya sikizo, nya kini buzebu. No saganessio, walunwa yoko verora rozolo kini. You never turned up. That is not nice. Uh, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was only one day. And I expected you to be there, but you turned me down. Yet you say we're friends. Oh, no. The day I left my in law's house, I called you. I mean, I left a message for you. The day I left the house, yes. But you didn't answer. And then the next day I kept calling and calling, but no response from you. I really wonder if we're really friends. <laughs> all right, I'll speak to you later. Do take care. All right, bye. Are you okay? I'm going upstairs to do something for myself. If you need me, Call me. If you need someone to talk to, uh, call me. 
<laughs> In case you've forgotten my name, Agnes is the name. <sighs> what is going on here? She said she made a call the day she left my house and even kept calling the next day. That means she has been with her phone all through. But she lied that she left it in my place. When she left and only returned to retrieve it. Oh God, oh God. Could it be that Agnes is responsible for my misfortune? Did she push me down? Did she stage it all? Oh Lord, Agnes, what have you done? Agnes, you're wicked. Agnes, you are wicked. You are meant to save life, not to take life. Nasagunesio, mama. You are meant to save life, oh, not to take life, oh. Oh, gini ne mezino, oh, kunya sikizo, nyaki ne buzebu, no saginesio, walunwa yo kofero raro, zolo ginio, no subanio, etse fukwana ananya nelegio. If you may told you it's from the look in your eyes that there's something on your mind. Would you like to talk about it? I know everything. Sorry? You never left your phone here. As you admitted to calling your friend that same day that you left here. I'm calling her the following day. You had it all planned. The missing Elum. Pushing me down the stairs. And telling my doctor you want to be my nurse. It was all a grand revenge plan. But revenge for a, for what exactly? For what happens? You have finally found it. I was wondering how long it would take you to do that. Okay. Go ahead and say it all. You know, with your big grammar and your classic way of telling stories. Or have you lost your talent to suffering? I'll tell the police. And they will get proof to nail you to your crimes. Tell the police. Hmm. It's your word against mine. There's no proof. There will never be any. Hmm. Agnes, don't be so sure. Just to be so sure, nothing is hidden under the sun. Yes, the truth will surely come out. Yes, the truth will come out. Keep my fingers crossed. What would you like to see? Do you want to break down the gates? 
Yes, madam, may I help you? Who are you and what do you want? So, I am the wife of the manager of this insurance company. I've been waiting for my husband for days now. His colleagues said he told them he was coming here to see madam. But he never came back. And I've been calling his line, he switched off. Madam, I am sorry. Your husband never came here. He said, you don't realize that this woman had an accident? I have been here taking care of her for a while now. I'm sorry your husband never turned up. That's not true, ma'am. All his colleagues confirmed is that he wanted madam to give her approval on something. <laughs> madam, you know how men are. They lie a lot. Obviously, he has gone to see his lover, his girlfriend, and he told you he's coming here. Don't mind him. Just go home. I'm sure he'll appear someday. Madam, yes. my husband does not cheat. He's a God-fearing man. That's what they all say. Oh, keep searching for him. That's what they all say. Oh, keep searching for him. I believe we'll find him. Oh. Both everybody in the office believes he came here that day. Madam, he didn't come here. I've been here for a while. But you know what? I'll join you in prayers to ensure that your husband comes back. Do take care of yourself, okay? Run along now, run along. Just go and keep praying. Go to church, call the pastors, they'll all help you. But I can bet you he went looking for a girlfriend. But it's okay, just forgive him when he comes back. manager's wife. And you didn't allow me to see her? You were the cause of my husband's death. Do you also want to kill the wife? He sent a pill to at least look at her. Murderer. Murderer. Murderer! The sins will find you out. His hand will bring you down! for myself and I'll give you this one. Please. But let me ensure that it's good enough for you. Please uh, don't dehydrate. I beg you. I hate about you. Your long throat. Always asking, begging. Okay, I'll give you something to drink. Yeah. You don't want to take it. Oh, God, please. You know the Bible says, ask, you shall receive. Please. <laughs> please, please. Mommy! Terry! Bella! 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 I've been taking care of her, you know. Look at the juice. Oh, wow. She asked for orange juice, this juice, that juice. Go ahead, go ahead. <sighs> what's, what's, what's going on? Nothing. It hasn't been easy looking after your mother. You know, she's gone a bit sinner, so be gentle. Why are you crying? I know you're 
I know you missed us. We're here yeah, for you, okay? No, no, I'm, I'm back. You're, you're making you me cry too. Oh, mom. Oh, mom. <laughs> don't cry. Come on. You didn't touch me. Why? We are back here. We will let's all cry together. That's the only way she would stop. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> mom, please. Are you alright? Sure. <laughs> Very well. You, you can see that anytime, Mom. died. I was as good as dead. Not just from the fall, but because of the things that, that followed. Agnes pushed me from the stairs and now pretended to rescue me and nurse me. What are you saying? This is a very, very serious accusation. I, what, what do you mean, Mom? Son, it's unbelievable. I, See, I have got evidence. It's just unfortunate it was not recorded. You know, her story to the police did not add up. I began to have my suspicion and I mustered courage and I asked her. And she agreed to everything. I could not record it because there was no recording device. Besides, she she, she, she seized my phone all through. And you know, the most horrifying part of it, she killed my manager, Mr. Peter, right in front of me. Oh, mom. Smashed him. Mom, mom, like, how, how can Agnes kill your manager? Do you have any evidence to prove this? I just told you that she agreed to them. Son, please. You need to call the police so they can start investigations. She, she, she may just run off. She may just run off, please. You have to call the police. This is unbelievable. Why, why would Agnes even... Can Agnes really do that? Mom, Mom is crazy. She did that alone? All by herself. You know, I wouldn't lie to you. You know, I wouldn't lie. Please call the police. Call the police, I beg. Mm. What exactly did my mother do to you? What? Why did you have to torture her for her through so much pain and agony? Why? What? Really, Terry? Yes, really. Is this all you have to say? <sighs> Terry is right. Your mother did unspeakable things to you. There is God, oh, oh God. Why would my goodness land me in trouble? I went out of my way to take care of you. And you're here actually lies against me. You know, it's always been your plan to support my daughter. That's why you're actually this lies against me. Remember, there is God. Oh, Agnes. Lies? I am hatching lies against you, Agnes, and you can call God? Well, I, I, I don't even know what to say to you, but I know the spirits. And the head of my manager, Mr. Peter, that you murdered in cold blood, will speak against you. 
His head will bring you down. Mother. Did I hear you say mother? Your mother is a mother. But your mother can never do such a thing. My mother would never lie about such a thing, Bella. Look at yourself. Listen to yourself. What are you saying? Bella. Your mother is not the angel that she portrays herself to be. She's worse than you can ever imagine. Oh, God. Tell me you don't know your mother. Your mother is with you. I mean, what have I done to you, Patricia? Why is she accusing me of killing her manager in cold blood? Why? Whatever for? I don't even know him. Why would I want to kill someone I do not know? For, for, for what cause? I, mother, your manager. Come on, Patricia, don't do this. Let's go, Patricia, don't lie against me. It's not nice. I, I, I already did my, my daughter is going to be your daughter-in-law. What else do you want to do? You drive me out of my life. Mom, it's okay. I don't know. Really She's an actress. It's okay. It's okay. She's, a, she's an actress. It's okay, Mommy. <laughs> she's crying and lying. But we are wicked. I can't believe you. Um, officer. Have you guys been able to come up with any valid evidence? Yes. From our investigations, we discovered that Mrs. Agnes here is connected to the mother of one Mr. Peter and Miss Agatha. And in line with the report given to us by Mrs. Patricia Chike, it is clear that Mrs. Agnes here is a prime suspect of both murder cases. For this reason, Mrs. Agnes, you are to follow us to the station for further questionings. Oh, oh. oh really? Shut up! Remember, whatsoever you say here will be used against you at the court of law. Officers, take her. It's okay. I move. what my mother has done, but whatever it is, please forgive her. <laughs> Bella, Bella, I, I forgive your mother, but she committed crimes, <laughs> and, and people must pay for their crimes. Please, I don't know what it is. I don't know how it started. But I know there must be a reason. I don't know what it is, but please, do whatever it is to save my mom. I, I, I told you I forgive her. But you see, the law must take its course. Okay, but you have the power. You have the power to make this happen, please. Yes, I can do. This for me. Do this for your son. Please. <laughs> Mother, <Christ>. please. <laughs> Are you 
she crying? Come, come here. Come here. <laughs> Look, um, that was just an arrest. <laughs> but it was just to investigate, okay? She will be back. All right? She's family. She's my mother-in-law, you know? So nothing will happen to her, okay? Please. Please, baby, just, just cheer up, okay? You will not understand. I can't imagine living a day without my mom. I know. And with the thought of her being in that station. Uh, babe, look, the police are just doing their investigation and that's the right thing to do. Please. I love you, all right? Come here. I'm with you, I'm with you. It's okay, I'm, I'm here, all right? I'm here with you, all right? Hey, you! Open your teeth! Me! Me! Where are you eating? Where are you eating? Where are you eating? Let me see your teeth! No, you are not blocking your teeth! Shut up! Oh, yeah, show me your finger!
Sous-titrage Société Radio-Canada 